Today I'm here and I am going to show you how to make a risotto, which is one of the recipes that I learned to make when I was living in Italy. A risotto uh, has to be looked after from the start to the finish, uh, and that can make it seem quite a difficult recipe, but actually it's really, really simple. Also, it's not expensive, so if the family love it, it's a really good way to, to feed the family of an evening. And it's very, very versatile. There are just hundreds and millions of different ways that you can make it. Today, because asparagus is in season, I am going to make uh, with fresh asparagus. I'm just waiting for the water to boil to put that in. Um, and the other ingredients are a little bit of onion. I've got a glass of wine here. Um, the rice and some parmesan cheese and that will be it because asparagus is a very delicate taste so I want that to uh, be the overall um, support effort. The asparagus is in there and very nearly done. I'm not cooking it completely because it's going to be cooking for another 20 minutes in here and I don't want it to go too mushy. Um, so that's come up to heat now. Have a quick slug of oil. Push it round the pan and in goes the onion. Okay. Now I'm just going to let that, I've cut it as finely as I possibly could because I personally don't like big bits or at least bigger bits than um, the, the, the risotto or the asparagus, it's just supposed to give a flavour. So I've turned that down to a medium heat, I've got my top on it and I'm just going to let that sweat now and get a tiny little bit of colour. Right, I've taken the asparagus out. The asparagus, I have kept the tips because I'm going to use them at the end and I have also cut off the harder bonia stalk and I'm going to discard that, throw that away in the bin so I've got this bit left. Now my onion has sweated nicely and as you can see it's not a greasy pan at all. Um, the oil, probably about a tablespoon, has been soaked up into the onion. What I'm now going to do is add the rice. Now I'm using Arborio rice and this one is actually a brand that I used to find in Italy but the, the supermarkets here in England do do uh, an equivalent which is cheaper. And just as good so now I was taught two handfuls per person and I'm preparing for two people here so there you go and now we're going to toast the rice okay so I think we are toasted and ready to go the last thing to add to that of course before um, I add any drop is my asparagus there we go one fell out so that is my asparagus water with the addition of a chicken stock cube. I'm going to add one ladle, two ladles at a time and just let that rice slowly, slowly absorb it all. That's all you have to do. Now that basically is your risotto. All we have to do now is add the broth to the, ris to the rice keep it cooking gently. This is maybe a little bit too furious. I've just turned her down a little bit um, until the rice is cooked, which will probably take about 20 minutes. In the meantime, as it's cooking, all of that flavor's coming out. You may have noticed I haven't added any seasoning yet. I'm gonna wait till I get to the end. Another good thing about risotto is if you are preparing this for your evening meal, you can be getting on and doing other things while this is boiling. You just have to keep your eye on it there now that will take a while to come back to the boil what I shall do now is wait until all that liquid is absorbed and before adding any more and that I think is quite important that you don't boil the rice that it just has to have enough uh, to take in as it goes you can always tell by the consistency this at the moment is a bit too liquid uh, for my liking. Okay, we're getting closer. Um, you can see it's starting to stick on the bottom, uh, which means it's 
absorbing fast all the liquid. Uh, the best thing to do now is to taste it to see how far we've got to go. And that is very, very close to what I'm going to do now. A little bit of that. I'm going to add some parmesan to start off with just to give it a little bit of taste. That will also thicken as we go. How can you tell the rice is cooked? Well, as I'm crunching it in my teeth, I can still feel dry bits. It's left around my mouth, so I'm waiting to bite some rice and not feel that. Now, because I've added that cheese, it's going to absorb quicker. You can also see that it's it's changed the consistency and it's changed the colour of the sauce too. Now that for me is fine because I am used to not having any salt anymore. Um, add as much as you like, as little as you like. And that's it, there's just one more thing we're going to do before that actually finishes cooking. And that would be to add just a knob of butter to what they call manticare, which just adds a little bit of flavour. Now, had I added the tips in, uh, they would have disintegrated by now. And as they are the prettiest bits, that's why I'm going to leave them right to the end. And I'm actually going to put them on the top of the rice. They're cooked, so I know they're going to taste fine. There's the size of knob of butter. I'm just going to leave that in there. That butter's now amalgamated dish up. These bowls are quite big actually. There we go. As you can see there's one bowl. Put some tips on top. Like so. Risotto agli asparagi.